I can give you another word uh, today. Forget your past. Let it go. Let it go. Isaiah uh, 43 verse 18 and 19 says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Let me say this to you. Let that thing go. Let betrayal, betrayal go. Let people that hurt you, let it go. It's not going to benefit you. God wants to do something new in your life. And as long as you hold on to that hurt, to that pain, to that rejection, to whatever it is that somebody did to you or you did to yourself or whatever that thing is, you're going to be stuck right there. Let it go. God wants to do a new thing in your life. Forgive that person. I don't care how bad they did you. Ask God to help you just to forgive them. Because what God wants to do is bless you. That storm that you just came out of. The storm that you, you are going through. It's all working together for your good. Judas meant it for bad. Judas meant it for bad. But God allowed it and it's going to work out for your good. So let Judas off the hook, baby. Because everything that's happening to you is driving you to your purpose. It might not feel good. No, it don't feel good. Suffering and pain don't feel good. But it's for your good. God has a new thing in store. New blessings. I remember um, right before my life changed drastically, I lost everything. Everything. I... I couldn't even see no hope. But guess what? God kept speaking change. Change. He kept saying change. I'm like, change what? I just, look, when God starts talking to me, I want him to be so clear to me. I'm like a little bitty baby. What are you saying, Lord? I'm like, change. Why come God changed everything? He changed my zip code. He changed my city. He changed my, he kept me in the same state. He changed my city. He changed my um, church home. He changed. He gave me brand new house. He, he, everything was changed. Everything. But it came after I suffered so hard. See, if I would have given up in the suffering, I would never get to the change. If you give up now, you would never see what he got on the other side of this. You would never see. What God has for you on the other side of this test. It's a storm. It's a flood. But you would never know what God is going to do for you. When the three Hebrew boys were in the fiery furnace. Soon as they came out. How did they. They went in because they trust God. They was forced in because they trust God. They would not deny God. They, they, they was in it because they trust God. They came through it because they had faith that God was going to. Take care of them regardless. And on the other side of that was promotion. Now what if they would have given up. And, and denied God and compromised because of the threat. Then they would have never went into the fiery furnace. They would have never saw God's ability to keep them in the fire. They would never see that God was going to bring them out of the fire. And they would never got the promotion. Do you want your promotion? Well get. Don't compromise. Go to prison like Joseph if you have to. Go to the, the in the fiery furnace like the Hebrew boys like if you have to. Go in the lion's den like Daniel if you had to. But go ahead and get it over with. Go through your suffering because you got to suffer anywhere and go. But just suffer for Jesus' name's sake and not your own foolishness. Go ahead and suffer so that you can get to your promise on the other side of the suffering. There is no way around your suffering. People want to go, they want to get to the promotion, but they don't want to go through anything to get it. It won't happen. Go through. Don't give up on God because you don't see any manifestation of the promises right now. Don't give up on your fast because things ain't going the way you want it to go right now. All of these things is making you. The fasting, the prayer, the confessions, all of those things, reading God's word, listening to motivational speaking and teaching. It's helping you in your fiery furnace. But when you come out of that 
that, that furnace. You will not smell like smoke. You will not be burned. And guess what? The people that threw you in there, they're the ones that's going to be destroyed. But it's not your job to want them to be destroyed. Your job is to pray for them and forgive them. But listen to me. Fast your way through this. Get on through this storm so you can get to your promotion on the other side of this. I love you. This joy. Have a beautiful, blessed day.